hi let's set up the hot folder i will go back to the vm so this is the hot folder structure i will open project setup station click on project then image import profile click on new and here we have these many options so we'll select local folder or LAN folder then here I will specify the path for input files I will copy this path and will add it here I have to add a double slash as well then click on next okay we'll check this option check hot folder for every 20 seconds so I will, I will look for the files for every 20 seconds and then we have this option create new batches for imported images automatically okay we'll leave this option as it is then we have number of files to be added here we can specify how many files we want to add to the particular batch so we'll not make any changes on this one as well click on cancel then next so these are the setting for image processing options okay we'll not make any changes in this one as well click on next and what should happen after image import okay so we need to specify a path okay so we'll copy this one and we'll add it here okay for exceptions also we'll do okay we'll copy this one and go back here and edit okay so we have this path and we'll click on next and uh, have to give a profile name as hot folder one click on finish click on close okay now I will click on project again project properties and here we have to give export root path as well so for that I will copy this one and will paste it here click on apply okay I have logged into the admin and monitoring console as well so from there we have to enable hot folder so here you can see this is a project section and inside this one we have this project layout one I have to enable this one as well I will refresh it okay let it refresh uh, meanwhile I will go back to project setup station again so I will click on project again and then document definition we'll do some export setting as well so uh, just click on edit okay click on document definition export setting and here we have this default setting we'll uncheck these two we'll create a new one okay click on add okay so type type will be export to data files only and we'll save our document image also so we'll check this option and for document condition we'll select errors are irrelevant click on next and here we have to specify the export path so this can be a relative path as well because we have given a root path already okay so but I'm giving a full uh, path over here okay I will copy this one and just paste it and for 
template what I will do I will use a simple one okay so for that I will select this source file name click on ok click on next so here we have this file type okay so it's a dot xlx okay and uh, leave this setting as as it is click on next and for images just check this option where do we want to save those images so what I will do I will give this path and for template we'll use same as a source file name we'll select this one as simple okay we'll select source file name click on ok and if you want to redact some sensitive information from uh, images then we can use this option okay I will check this one okay let's do it for one field let's select uh, billing address okay click on ok click on next and file type will be a PDF quality says okay let it be like this click on next export data files to click on finish and uh, we have to enable these options okay click on apply okay click on save Okay, close it and okay. Publish it. Okay. Yes, click on yes. Okay, click on close. Now what I will do, I will place some file inside a hot folder. So we'll minimize this one also. Okay, open this one input file folder. Okay, so we'll copy this one, one image and paste it inside this hot folder. Okay, we'll copy it again. So Abby has picked it, this file. Okay, we'll go back to project setup station will refresh it here so it has created a patch as 4049 and current stage is scanning Okay, we'll refresh it again so now you can see that stage is verification I have to open a verification station click on OK select for this one senior verification operator click on OK 
so we'll dub just double click on it so here you can see some of the characters are highlighted in red okay so we'll run this verification click on run data verification okay so both characters are one and four only click on confirm field confirm it again okay, we have to do it for each field confirm 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 verification is completed click on ok and click on close task Now go back to project setup station. We'll refresh it. Okay, so current stage is export. So you can see that stage is processed now. Okay. So I will go back to that folder and first I will check this process files. So here you can see it has created a patch. Okay, and it has placed that invoice over here. I will copy this one into my local machine and go back again. Then click on layout one okay click on output files and I will copy this Excel file also and paste it here okay let's verify the data So you can see it has redirect this billing address. Just minimize it. Redact this billing address. So this is how we can hide some uh, important information. So if we have any field like account number and all, and if we don't want to show that uh, field to anyone then we can hide it okay and for data so you can see it has extracted data okay we'll select this one so here you have this path for images and invoice number this data is repeated you can ignore it okay and for table line item you can see it's having this data and this is how it works so that's all for this video thank you for watching